And the last thing we want to do to our rendering here is to essentially fade away the outside because we don't want our audience or whoever is looking at these renderings to really focus on these out, outer areas here. So I'm going to create just a, a basic vignette um, using a selection and I've already created a new layer and I'm going to use the um, elliptical marquee tool to get me started and just make a sort of round selection on the image and maybe change or remove its position down just a little bit. So again, we want to focus in on this area. These outside areas are less important. So from here, I want to feather the edge so that it is um, a soft fade from one to the other. And I tried this out already and discovered that it needs to be feathered quite a lot. So I'm going to 500 pixels. And so it is really softening the edge. And we don't want to add our darker colors here in the middle. Um, this is just to help us get that section selected. So now we need the inverse. So this is gonna actually apply around the outside edges. And from here, I just need to pick, you know, pretty dark color. This, this basically black is gonna be fine for this. And I'm going to use the fill command foreground color and you can see because we feathered it it softened that edge really nicely I'm going to turn that uh, selection off so you can see it and if it's too harsh you can always bring the opacity down um, I guess I had the opacity turned way down so if I turn the opacity way up already um, it really starts to focus in on that you lose all that detail but there's still a little hint of it in there which is nice um, but you can soften it and bring it back ever so slightly. But really in a rendering, you really want to be able to focus in on the, the scene itself and make that the important part. Um, if you were designing um, lighting for this, you might do multiple vignettes and have different layers with different vignettes on so that you can really highlight maybe one area over here or one area over here. Um, just depends on, on what the play is, what your scene is trying to do and convey. If you wanted to add furniture into these scenes, you can do it the same way as adding in the figures and you know find an, find an image that you like. Um, you can even draw it. Um, it doesn't have to be um, something from the computer or a digital image. And um, you can add that in there. Um, so uh, one last thing just to show you. So you know we've created this sort of darker view of here. Um, we can show you what it looks like if I turn on my, turn off the dark columns and turn on the brighter columns. So I'm going to turn this nighttime scene more into a daytime scene. And I've already gone and changed my background. Um, so, you know, it's, I, I would probably need to do a little bit more work, maybe brighten up the figures a little bit more. But even just changing, having those multiple layers, we have two two different possibilities in here to convey multiple scenes in our show. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit. Um, again, there's so many different ways to do some of the same things. Um, really, it comes down to finding which way you like, um, learning how to organize your layers so that they are um, workable for you. Uh, and create the image and the flexibility that you might need in order to create a nice rendering. So thanks for watching. Hope you got this far and uh, have some fun out there.